Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. It is Saturday, November 26th, 2022. And I am sitting out here enjoying the beautiful fresh air and wanting to connect with everyone because it's been a few weeks um, since I've done a video. I was a little bit under the weather the last two weeks um, and it's just been an interesting moment for me. Um, this month has been a very unique month for me. It was a month that I knew the Lord told me that it was going to be a very pivotal month for me, even last year foreshadowing this year. Um, and I really wanted to come on here and just say hello and let everyone know what's going on. Um, I also have something that the Lord's been putting on my heart um, relating to my own personal testimony but also a corporate word for everyone. Um, he has reminded me of a video that I did in December of 2020, um, which I believe I have uploaded here, um, and I'll link it in the description, but it has to do with the book of Jude. Um, I shared this video in December of 2020, and it was very heavy on my heart to To know what you need to do during this time um, because we are and we have been entering a time of great deception um, and when we talk about deception a lot of times there's a misunderstanding about what that means um, the deception that I'm talking about is in the church. Um, there is a an unfortunate, um, I would say, position that one can take when it comes to being comfortable um, in the church because um, there has been a misteaching over a long time that the church is a is a safe place um, now it should be it should be a safe place because we are called as believers to be the healing bomb to humanity but the reality is that a lot of times um, the danger lies in getting comfortable with being comfortable in the church, within the church. Um, so we have to have uh, a very sharp and, and a double-edged sword sharp of spiritual discernment when it comes to um, the body of Christ. Um, and as, as sad as that is to say, that is the reality. And um, I have certainly been tested in this area um, and I have learned, uh, and the Lord highlighted something specifically this month for me, but I have learned over the years that, um, the only safe place is in Christ. The only safe person is in Christ. Um, and this is where we can rest, but really we're not to be, um, in any type of slumber or idleness or comfort anywhere else. Um, now, I do believe, and by revelation from last year, he was sharing with me that he has aligned his people. Um, he has done this spiritually. That goes with every area and aspect of our life. Um, and another thing to remember in this um, in this understanding of having a very sharp discernment when it comes to um, who you are in uh, close proximity to, um, who you consider family, who you consider confidants, who you consider um, friends because um, we are and have entered a new dimension 
and that requires us to have um, a new perspective on on all of it. Um, now, spiritual warfare is something that is uh, it's a buzzword, and it has been a buzzword for a while. Um, but when I'm talking about spiritual warfare, I'm literally talking about um, understanding that our wrestle is not with flesh and blood. Our wrestle is with principalities. Our wrestle is um, with anything and anyone that would oppose the knowledge of God that would come against um, the word of God and that would come against the plan and purpose of God for his people. Um, this is why it's important to remember that even within the church, um, we have to be guarded on what we receive um, and on what we share. Now, I share this a lot with um, with my inner healing teachings, the importance of protecting your environment when you are being vulnerable and sharing um, places of self that are very sensitive and very delicate because that is when the enemy likes to come and hijack and manipulate and steal um, the work that the Lord is trying to do in a person. Um, and he does it through people. The enemy works through people. He will work through circumstances, but he will work through people as well. Um, so in the same way, it is very important to remember that um, even within the church, that we are, we are discerning and we are guarded on what we're sharing and who we're sharing with, um, because not everybody has the best intentions for you. Not everybody has, um, um, and not only that, but Quite honestly, when it comes down to it, what the what the Lord has for each person is a promise to each person. And so just as it's important for us to cultivate our heart and to guard our heart from the issues of life, that is the issues that are coming in or trying to come in and the issues that we need to resolve to bring out, um, it's important that we um, guard our mind and guard our heart um, and be discerning about what we share with other people. Um, now, there are some key indicators to know if you can trust anybody that you're speaking to about your life. Now, whether it's spiritual, uh, mental, emotional, or physical, um, but the principle is the same. Um, and when it comes to this spiritual um, discernment, uh, which again, we need to be postured, especially as time continues, because deception is only gonna grow um, worse, um, because we have entered um, the time of the great deception. Now, when I say this, I'm speaking specifically to the Antichrist showing up and reigning um, which there are some key uh, events that need to take place before that happens. But the signs have already revealed themselves. So we are very, very close to that. Um, and leading up to that, which I've been sharing over the last few years, is meaning that um, there are going to be signs in the earth. Um, and specifically how people are relating to one another. In 2020, I shared um, these words that the Lord put on my spirit, uh, which are, don't let the apathy change your empathy. And what he meant by that to me specifically, um, because as the love of many continues to grow cold, which is a, which is a, which is happening so quickly and so um, abundantly right now, um, it is going to be um, more and more evident 
of those who truly carry the love of Christ and those who do not. Um, and love is the mark. I've shared that a lot over the years, but love is the mark. Um, First John is a book to read um, to help you understand um, that those who do not carry the love and the honor, which that's what this year has been. It's been about love and honor. It's been about the Lord seeing who he can trust to carry his attributes of love and honor. And those are the ones who are going to be, um, who are going to be used in a mighty way to bring healing to the world. So if you're struggling in these areas, if you're struggling with love or understanding what love is, you're struggling with honor or understanding what honor is, I encourage you to seek the Lord. Um, I have teachings on this that I shared earlier this year. Um, but the exhortation today is to be vigilant, to be vigilant. Um, the enemy is very sneaky right now. He's very crafty, he's very sneaky, and he's coming in all kinds of disguises to try to hijack and try and sidetrack and sideline what the Lord has spoken and what he has been doing, but <laughs> he's not going to succeed. Um, and what you need to know is that you are the gatekeeper of your destiny. You are the gatekeeper of your mind, of your heart, and of your life and your future by the grace and mercy of the Lord. And so I'm here to encourage you, as I'm encouraging myself, that no matter what trials you're going through right now, um, stay fixed on Christ and what he has spoken. What the Lord has spoken to your heart about your life and about your future because it is time. Um, we are entering establishment literally in the month of December. Um, so I'm expecting um, amazing, amazing things to happen for us. Um, those of us who um, are part of the remnant, who understand the times, who understand um, what we are called to do while we're here, um, those of us who um, have have gone through the fire, have gone through the trial, um, and are coming out, um, this is specifically for you. Um, now, of course, you have to discern where you are in your walk with the Lord. You have to discern where he has you. And that's another word, too. Be patient with that process because um, it is worth it. It is not comfortable. As I shared before, transition is not comfortable at all but it is part of the birthing process and it is worth the beauty that is on the other side um, once again I sit here live testimony um, still moving into my establishment that the Lord has promised and I hope everyone is doing well just a quick word here I wanted to come on and talk with you guys Hope everyone's doing well. Love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Um, and I'll be back. I've been a little bit, like I said, this month's been a little bit different, um, but it's been good. It's been good. The Lord has been revealing much to me and he's been uh, doing the work he needed to do this month for me. So I will be back soon um, with my schedule that I've had. Um, and I'll be sharing more on the inner healing journey. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, um, uh, I invite you to follow me there. I also have relaunched my blog, sheisrestored.blogspot.com. And because I was under the weather the last two weeks, I didn't share a video on identity. So instead I wrote on it. And you can find me at that blog so you can read what I shared this last week. So that's all for now. I'll talk to y'all soon. I love you so much. Bye.